Okay, using rescue discs on infected PCs, which sometimes become unbootable because of malware infections. The first thing you want to do, if you don't have an ISO burner, is to download a free one. Now, here there's a free version 1 for Windows XP with no service pack, Windows XP Service Pack 1, Windows XP Service Pack 2 and 3, and Windows 2003, including 64-bit operating systems, version 3 for Windows Vista, and version 3.1 for Windows Vista and Windows 7. Make sure you pick the right version. Now I'm using a 32-bit build, so I will click that and download it. I won't save this because I already have it. I'll simply download it and run it. You then need to download a rescue CD. Now Avira do an EXE file, which if you download this and double click the EXE file, it will then burn it as an ISO image to your CD burner on a clean machine. You can also download the ISO image, which is here, the Avira Antivir Rescue System. They're both about 58 megabytes. And another one is Kaspersky, who do a rescue image, you simply click it and save the files to your desktop and then burn it to the CD. The next thing to do is to make sure that your machine can boot from CD DVD. So you either need to hit delete, escape, F1 or F2 and select a first boot device. In this case I will use the USB CD-ROM and you need to check with your machine as to which key it is you need to press to enter the BIOS or the setup. Now I've selected the USB CD-ROM and press enter and that now becomes my first boot device. If you go into the BIOS use the arrows keys to scroll along the top and take you to the boot menu and you then need to use the up and down arrow key to select the CD-ROM DVD drive and whichever specific key it is, in this case it's F6, to move it up the list to make that the boot device. Now, if I put a virus into the CD tray and reboot the system, this window loads. Now you need to select the boot option number one, boot and defer rescue system, which is the default. Now you can leave this, it would automatically load it if you don't touch anything and just let it run. There are further advanced user settings, but we'll stick with number one. And you, pro you might well get this little icon on your screen. The program opens in German. If you want it in English, click the flag and it will then be in English. Now, with Avira, you can click update and as long as there's an internet connection available, it will download the latest updates for you. And the next thing you want to do is click Start Scanner and just let it run. You can have a look, there's a command line for advanced users. Uh, there's also a readme file, a log file. And just click on Antivert to take you back to the scanner which will continue scanning anyway. Now, this one took 37 minutes, or just over and it gave 13 warnings, the no suspicious files, nothing repaired, deleted, renamed or quarantined. In the configuration panel the default is protocol malware records only. You can change this to try to repair infected files and rename files if they cannot be removed. Leave it on the default for your first scan. When you've finished, click shutdown and you'll have this little window pop up, shutdown or restart. Now I will restart and remove the CD from the tray and that's it. With, Kaspers with Kaspersky when you load it via the CD press enter to start the rescue disk and it will start to boot and just allow it all to load up. It takes a few minutes. You can select your language which is English, French, German or Russian and just allow it to load all the elements it needs. You will then get the user interface and it will tell you the databases are obsolete. 
Uh, if you click update now, each time I've tried this on two different machines, it's failed to update because it can't find an internet, internet connection, whereas a virus could. Uh, as you can see, the release date of this is the 13th of May 2009. When you click on scan, tick disk boot sectors and your C drive. If you want to include other drives, then please tick them. And then click start scan and just let it run. Now, in this case, on another machine, it's found malware that I've downloaded. Uh, disinfection is not possible, deletion is recommended, and skip is not a good idea. So I will click delete and the object will be deleted. Now, Kaspersky scans in a matter of minutes. And if you click on detected, and you get another little interface open up, you can have a look at active threats, quarantine threats, disinfected files, and or detected malware. In this case, it's deleted a Trojan from the machine. In under reports, you get the scan completed, as you can see, 50 seconds and 21 seconds. So they're very quick scans. And it can clear a lot of malware off, off an infected machine that won't boot because it's malware infected. If you want to shut it down, click exit, click yes, and you then need to go to the taskbar, click on the Kaspersky icon, and then click log out. And this will then pop up with another window, and just click OK, and this will then close the program down. And as you reboot, make sure you take the CD out of the tray and download Malware by Anti Malware and do a scan with that. If you want more information, check out my blog, which is Free PC Security, and you can find it at freepcsecurity.co.uk.